but today I'm going to be showing you all how to colour the ends of your hair DIY style. It's really quick and simple to do so I hope you all enjoy. Let's get started. So you're going to need a spray bottle and different pastel chalks. I had three, I had a blue one, a pink one and a purple one. So first of all I sprayed my hair with water and you do need to spray your hair because your hair needs to be damp so the chalks will work properly on it. I then took the pink chalk pastel and then I seconded off a piece of my hair and then I just got the pastel and started rubbing down to get the colour off onto my hair. I discovered that the first time I used this it didn't work very well with the pink one and I think the main reason is that it snapped like the woman dropped it in the shop and then it snapped but um, I did end up squirting more water on it and that made the chalk come off on it a bit better. After I had done a piece of pink on that side I went on to my other side and I just sprayed it with water and then put some more pink chalk on that side of my hair. I then took the turquoise blue chalk and then took a section of my hair and then just began to chalk that section of my hair. I then done it the other side as well and just really repeated the same steps. I then took the purple pastel chalk and then I just took a section of my hair again and then just done the same thing. After I had used each colour and got the hang of it, I went in again and just put a few more colours into my hair and just sort of try to balance each side out. And here you can all see the different colours that are in my hair. I think it looks really pretty and I really like it, but you do have to remember, wear an old top, right? This is like a really old top that I wore, um, but it's just because you can get like chalk on like your clothes and it might stain. So yeah, wear an old top. And it does go all over your hands, but it washes off with soap and water, so it's all good. So I just carried on colouring my hair with all the different colours and then once I was happy with it I left it to dry. I did dry it with a hair dryer and then it just go poof which I sort of regret but you'll see what it turns out like. So after it dried it turned out like this. So this is the finished product. I really like it. I love all the colours in it and I think they all complement each other very well. So I hope you all enjoyed this video and thank you for watching. Bye guys. It's video one now by the way. <laughs> uh, so hi. Yeah, you want it to be in the video. Yeah. So I just thought I'd like put it in. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to say anything? I'm fine. Are you sure? Sure. Are you sure? Are you sure? Sure, sure, sure. Hello. <laughs> See ya. Bye guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.